Write this one as a single logarithm. Okay, by the order of operations, we should do addition and then subtraction first. Now, what I mean by that is we're going to use the properties of the logarithms to change this. And the nice thing that they've done for us is they've made all the bases the same, which is what allows us to change this into one single logarithm. So first things first, let's look at the addition here. So I'm going to throw some parentheses around that just to show that the word of operations, that is what we're doing first. Now this is the product rule because we were adding the 8 and the 3 there, right? So I have log base of 11, and now I would have, that would be of 8 times 3, all right? So in order to really simplify this thing, well, what is 8 times 3? That would give us 24. All right, now we're looking at the quotient rule for these logarithms because it's subtraction, right? So we still have the same bases for the logs, log base of 11. But now I'm going to have 24, and this would be divided by 2 because we were subtracting those. And that's going to give us the log of a base of 11, and that is of... 24 divided by 2 and gives us 12. That right there is one logarithm, which is what they wanted. So if you guys saw that in the beginning, we could have combined this into one complete logarithm. So we got the log base of 11. And then I can just use the operations as we go, right? The plus would be multiplication, and then the minus would be division. Then I just plug the values in, 8, 3, and 2. This also would give us this log base 11 of 12. 